Well, now it's time to really get writing. You've spent a lot of time organizing your thoughts and you have written an outline and you've done a lot of research and it's exciting because now you get to actually write the paper. Remember, it's best to really develop that topic sentence and topic paragraph before you write anything else. And this is also a good time for you to gather an idea of what you want to do for your concluding paragraph because remember that your concluding paragraph really should mirror the introductory paragraph. So first, in writing our first draft, let's look over the information that you gathered for your topic. Make sure you, that you summarize, you paraphrase, or that you quote directly, but don't forget that you need to notate that correctly so that you don't end up, you know, plagiarizing something. Make sure that you do use each idea you plan to use in your essay and you organize your items according to your outline. Step two, you need to write your transition sentences in order to connect each informational item. And you wanna make sure that it's going to relate to the topic that you're developing. So you may want to use transitional paragraph season as it is necessary to write about a single topic. And that's gonna to flow together in a manner that will make your, people, your paper feel very choppy to the reader if it's not done correctly. For example, if you're going to develop a topic that the North Korean citizens experience restricted access to information, you can open the topic with a general statement about the topic and then indicate how many points you're going to make with a statement such as, the North Korean government restricts access to information in three main ways, which will be discussed. Then as you discuss each point, you can introduce the point by saying the first way, the second way, the third way. Lastly, as you are piecing together this paper, make sure that you also think about things you might want to write later and insert them into your essay. We call these placeholders and you may want to leave them with brackets or instructions to write your paragraph in certain places. Now, one of the values in doing this is that sometimes as you are writing your first draft, you're going to come across this really incredible writer's block and you just don't know how to continue. So instead of worrying about it, Place some kind of brackets or italics. I personally use, when I am using technology, bold and red very brightly in the middle of my paper that will say, come back here to include an example or find a better source here. But whatever it is, you may want to prefer to highlight your instructions to yourself in the paper so that it jumps out very quickly and that you don't forget to come back and write that new paragraph. Otherwise, you're going to submit something to an instructor that says, don't forget to include dot, dot, dot. How embarrassing would that be?